What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the unboxing, setup, and installation of the Porter Rod system. Let's get it out there. The Porter Rob system is got two locks that came with it. These actually came separate. I've been waiting about a day to get these. It came really fast. I mean, overnight. Once it was ordered, it was here the next day, and these came a day after. Uh, I already popped it open and looked at it on my lunch break, so uh, <laughs> I had to take a peek. But um, this is it, guys. We're gonna get this thing out, get it on the workbench here, and see if we can get this thing set up. Instructions, Allen key. Looks like that's all I need. I have one, two, three, four, and five rod holders. This is the five rod system. And then just the bar. All right, guys, from what, from what I'm understanding is, I'm just gonna, Loosen all these. I'm gonna take these apart with this little Allen key. I'm gonna get that done first. So all I'm doing, and these came, they weren't tight or anything like that. They just came together, which is nice. Not a lot of extra bags and a lot of extra pieces. It's kind of always, it's kind of already sh um, set up to show you what's going on. Get these guys out and I'm going to do this to all five and kind of get everything set out. All right guys, got this thing broken down. Got all this separated. So at this point, like this is, this is my bar again. This is what's connected. This is what's going to connect to the sides of the truck. And looking at the instructions, basically I'm just going to take these and I'm going to kind of position them about where I think they're going to go not tighten them down all the way and you know leave them a little loose so that way once i get it in the truck i can adjust them easy to fit um like my concern is like maybe the reels hanging out of the side i don't want to get them too close and things like that so i'm going to try to eyeball it and then leave it loose once i get it in the truck once i start getting some rods and reels some setups in there i can adjust it from there all right guys you see here on the instructions here's my bar it's telling me to to kind of kick over to my right a little bit for the first one and it's gonna sit it's gonna sit underneath like so All right so then we're gonna go ahead and clamp one of these guys back down on here and again I'm just gonna put it in there a little bit just to hold it in place I want to be able to adjust it Grab another one, move it over a little. Again, put one of my clamps down. Just kind of move it down the line. I'm not too concerned with positioning right now. I just kind of want to get it together. So number four. And guys, this is the Porter Rod system, again, I'm gonna link 
their website because these are just I like these because you don't have to bolt them into the into the side of my truck I don't want to be drilling into my Toyota man and uh so again so with that so what are we losing we're losing security basically so they they've thought of that too with these locks so we're gonna see man we're gonna see if if this is too good to be true or not all right all right so we got all those guys set up now we'll start adjusting them all right guys Let's get this bad boy in the back of the Yoda and take it from there. All right guys, I, I, I just flip sides with this because I feel like these should be out here. So, I'm going to move my little rack here a little bit. I want to I want to leave room for these guys for tie downs and such. So, I believe this is going to kick like that. I'm going to Kind of angle it how I think it should be, and then let's see here. Yeah, we're just gonna ratchet it out, kind of position those, get that kind of snug. Come over here, position this guy. Come back with the ratchet. And put it in. I'm not going to do it super tight right now. Just to kind of see if I see anything that's blocking. That looks good over there. That looks good over here. You can see how I have less space here than I do there. So I can already kind of see how I'm going to do some adjusting. It's just easier, I think once uh once you got them in here to kind of start adjusting i don't feel like this is right i feel like these need to be coming over the top so i am going to there we go there's a release push that in a little bit let's flip it around i think i had it right the first time Hmm, I feel like that's how it goes with the bar here. These guys sitting in the back. That looks better to me. The sticker is on right. <laughs> that means anything. I don't know. I'm going to go back and look at the instructions and see if I can uh, kind of tell in the illustrations if I have these right or not. All right, guys. At this point, I'm watching my own video. Because <laughs> I, I did a little review on these porter rods when I was at iCast. And I can see how Scott, the manufacturer of these, how he's setting them up. And they go in the back. So I have them right. So that's how they're supposed to go. Alright, we can move on. Alright guys, so at this point, I've dropped them right because i had them up here and i dropped them i turned this little stopper sideways and i'm dropping it lower to get my rods lower because i got some 12 footers and the lower the better as far as tree limbs and stuff and i've come all the way here as far as i can go and i feel like that's going to be enough so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to adjust these get them even because i got these big gaps gonna get my rod holders even i'm gonna crank this in tight and we're gonna get some rods in this bad boy
All right, guys, this is my everyday beach setup. I got the eight foot Cajun Coastal. I got my two identical 12 foot Frisky Fins. And I got my two identical Star Rods 10 foots. So that's my five rods that's going back there. Let's see how they sit. So right away, I'm noticing my palm tree right here in my, <laughs> in my driveway. Um, I feel like it's gonna hit. It, these rods are gonna hit, especially the 12 footers. I need to trim that palm tree. I understand that, but that's something to consider for me. You know, as I'm parking here in the driveway, you know, I got, I got a couple options. I can keep my 12 footers on this side. So hopefully that'll clear it. But just as time goes on, you know, the 10 footers, as that bad boy grows, they might hit it too. So these are things to be vigilant of. Um, once I'm out on the street, I see no problem. Just my personal driveway. I either need to cut those limbs right there and it's gonna look, make my tree look lopsided. Or what I'm gonna do probably is when I'm loading up, I'm just gonna pull the truck out and back it in a little bit and just load it from there. But those are things to be aware of, guys. Phase two, is my beach cart gonna go in there? I do have a small bed, guys. This is a short bed. You know, I got the extended cab because of the kids. So I have a shorter bed. You know, these reels are sitting pretty, you know, they got a good angle to keep them lower. But is my beach cart gonna fit in there? Because if it's not, these are a no-go for me. I'll go back to the old way. Let's check it out. Like a glove. All right, let's figure out the locking system. There she is. Instructions on the back. Okay, it's telling me to align all zeros here to the guide point. So I figure that little dot there is the guide point. So I've done that. By pressing the button, pull out the cable head. Hmm. Oh, there we go that button remove the cable from the lock uh, okay so you got to keep this button pressed in there we go go ahead and cut these get this thing completely undone I'm gonna have to do this in a minute anyway. All right, there's our cable. All right, guys, I think y'all can see this. Got my cable and my lock. I'm gonna use this and this, I believe. So, ow, I'm gonna run that through here run that up and over right actually does that go through there yeah i think so yeah okay so there's a hole in here that porter rod has put even better a lot more secure all right guys, I figured something out off camera. The second lock here, don't even need it. I'm gonna show you guys this, this is awesome. All right guys, I did a little repositioning here. As you can see, my lock is going through 
my porter rod system here. I got it looped around this little handle on the side. What I'm gonna do, and I got another lock system on that side. So what I'm gonna do is just take this tag in, run it through that loop there, like so. And then in my reel, I got these little openings. This is a 4,000 series pin. Running it through, running it through, right? So it'll go a little bit further. If I just take some of this slack out, pull some slack there, kind of work it through, working it through. And let me get on the other side. Again, my lock system going through the porter rod. There's a hole here. It's kind of hard to see. Tag in. I'm going to, again, loop that tag in through there, through this handle on the side of my truck, and work it through the reels heading in this direction. So that's another 4,000 series. These are 5,000 series that goes through easier. And I have this one here. Let a little more slack going. Now let me get in the back of the truck with my lock. All right. Getting old. So now I got my two tags. I got one more reel. I'm gonna push that through. And I just got the one lock. So I'm going to press that button on top, stick it in, stick it in. Ah, locked in there, buddy. One lock. I'm going through all five reels. I'm secured here through the Porter Rod system, through these little handles on my truck. Probably gonna use these eventually because they're more secure. You can really just pop these off. Same on this side, through the Porter Rod system. Everything's attached. Let's tighten that guy down. He got moved earlier. Everything's attached through every reel with only one lock. Sweet! That's it guys, the Porter Rod system. I am super satisfied with this product. I was a little, a little hesitant when I was taking it out of the box and everything and I'm looking at all the locks. I was like, man, what is going on with all this? But it just took some figuring out and it's a super simple system. You know, I got everything back out of the truck. So I'm just gonna keep this lock wrapped up right there. And then I have my other one with the actual lock on it that's holding in the system. Yeah, man, no problem at all. Um, I'm gonna link their website, Porter Rod, Porter Rod uh, website in the description of this video. You guys check it out. If you want one, order it. If you do order it, mention Perdido Blaine. It might help me out. A lot of work goes into these videos. You never know. Um, if you're in the Perdido Key, Orange Beach, Pensacola area, I believe Clint at Lost Key Outdoors is gonna start carrying these. So go talk to Clint. He can grab you up one. What an awesome way to transport the rod, guys. Theft protection, no bolting. I'm sold. You guys are enjoying the videos, hit me a like, hit me a subscribe, really helps out the rhythm of the channel. You can check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram. You can find my guided services at perditoblaine.com. All my rates are there. Till next time, guys.